so obviously that was the last clip I got of the game because uh, you're watching this, you know what happened. Um, Chelsea lost on penalties to Ekepa. Yes. <laughs> So I'm in London, I made it to London, uh, I don't think I spoke to the camera yet, I've, this is my vlog for Chelsea versus Liverpool uh, at Carabao Cup final, I'm so gassed, I'm going, I've never been to Wembley, so many special things are happening today, I can't wait, uh, I made it down to London, five hour coach from Manchester, it's not too bad to be fair, um, it went by quite quickly, no traffic, just breeze down, blue skies, it's a beautiful, beautiful day for it, uh, I saw Wembley, that, was, that made me gas because I'm going to be there in a couple hours time um yeah made it to my hotel room i've got to shoot out because i'm meeting the lads gonna have some beers but it's a lovely little room it's quite cheap it's not the best but it's lovely got a nice view as well lovely little view just some of the houses around here you see the power plant i don't know the name of the power plant but you see it over in the distance there was uh chelsea were gonna move into that at one point i believe i think roman wanted it anyway but yeah like i said i'm gonna shoot right out get to the pub and meet some of the lads so come on boys let's do it <laughs> Where should we have? Oh, yeah, it's on a mad one. Na 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 Champions of the world, of the world, champions of the world. So obviously that was the last clip I got of the game because uh, you're watching this, you know what happened. Um, Chelsea lost on penalties to Ekepa, missed. Um, just the most bizarre circumstances, like probably one of the worst ways you could lose a final. First trip to Wembley, eh? <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I, there's a few things to say, I guess. I think the first thing is that that team did us proud. Um, I saw a lot of people saying this on Twitter and I'm quite proud that the Chelsea fans kind of came through and said this because they gave their absolute all. There was moments in the game we were way better than Liverpool. There were moments where we should have scored. I mean, Lukaku's fucking offside is is ludicrous and will will be a topic for sure. It's just that, oh, that I didn't I didn't really see that in the ground. I didn't see it until after like the the thin lines of that last bollocks. That they had their own offside call. We had a couple goals where we were offside, <clears throat> which is frustrating, of course, and those players like Timo. Romelu need to stay outside, and those moments like bloody mounts could have scored too. Um, I think we were probably the better team in terms of chances, but we just didn't take them. But other than that, we really gave our all. Like from from Mendy onwards, like the defense, Thiago Silva impresses me every single time. Giz is amazing. Um, Rudiger put in a great performance. Mendy double saves after I think he did two double saves, double double saves. Um, just so I'm, I'm extremely proud of the team. Uh, crazy game to watch, really was. And then the penalties, and it's like, what are you going to do, eh? Because <clears throat> Kepa came on in the Super Cup and fucking won us that final because of his penalty saving abilities. So it was only right that Tuchel would think that that could happen again. Like, that's not Tuchel being an idiot, that's Tuchel being quite smart. Who would have thought that he couldn't save one? And then who would have thought he would have had to take one? I've never seen that. 
Um, I mean, obviously, I've seen it happen before, but I don't think I've ever seen Chelsea do that. Um, not not in recent memory, anyway. Yeah, so it's just like it's just so difficult. So I won't put no blame on Kepa. I just hope it doesn't affect his confidence because he just bought that back up. Giza must hate the League Cup in it. <laughs> but yeah, and I was supposed to go back to my hotel. Well, I was hoping to go out after and see some of the lads that we'd met in the day and and that. But um, of course, I went back to the hotel. The hotel was sad, and I looked at the last trains back to Manchester. I got a train back rapid. I couldn't do it. I could not do it, and I managed to get a refund on the ticket as well. So. Uh, but no, yeah, and just, I think the most important thing to say uh, is not about the football, and it's about the day out that you have on in these occasions, you know what I mean, like, you, you know, I just, the, it was, the sun was out, my coach journey down was uh, amazing, I was looking, you know, out the windows, watching some films, I, I was having just a great blissful time, I get there, I meet up with um, some lads at the Globe, um, you know, meet new people, meet people I already know, like Nick, shout out to Nick, um, shout out to Jack, just loads of people that, you know, you know, new people, old people, it's just great, and you're drinking, and we went out to another pub and met some other people, and we walked down to Wembley, and our first time I saw Wembley was just amazing, and our view was amazing, and the game was tense, and like, it was a great day up until that Kepa penalty, and um, I'll have memories from all of that, so that's that's the most important thing, I think. Um, <clears throat> that's it, I'll start rambling on now uh, it, I'm going to have to edit this video which is sad because I'm going to have to watch all the footage <laughs> back um, but yeah thanks for watching, appreciate you watching appreciate you interacting with this content I love uh, doing this sort of stuff hopefully I can get to some more games and make more videos like this um, appreciate you all subscribe, like, all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one on to loot and eh? oh. <laughs>